Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Becky. We're gonna give you a rundown of everything inside and out on Cook's Headers and Exhaust. We sent 18. <laughs> it's quite rude of you. Uh, All right, so we can start here. Maybe. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, not so much. Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Becky. We are gonna dive in today on some of our processes after bending. So after all of the pipes have been cut and bent. Then they're gonna go to our welders. So we have a variety of stations as far as where they can go and how they are actually assembled and put together. Um, right now I am standing in what we refer to as our lean line, which is more of an assembly line style. So we have our welders who start here. They tack the headers to the flanges. From there, they actually go to another station to get trimmed. So you've got your flat flange, there's a little bit of material sticking out of said flange, and they actually cut that on a bandsaw. It's super cool. So they cut them flat, then they get grounded, they get re-welded around the ports, and then at that point the collectors get welded on and they go to QC. So throughout our process, we also use a combination of MIG and TIG welding. It's gonna vary depending on even the, the header itself, what application is it going on? Some of our headers are built to be more durable and withstand a lot more power, a lot more vibration from various engines. So all of these are taken into account when we decide exactly how each header is gonna go through its welding process. So he's tacking them from the outside right now so that it's safe, stable, secure, locked in. And then these are gonna go to somebody who cuts all of that excess down flat to the flange. 